Japan Times, 19th of February 2024, Canada asserts that China is responsible for ensuring the Red Sea's safety. China sponsored the Hamas attacks to establish a secondary front against the United States. The Chinese, nevertheless, had not anticipated the assaults on their shipping. Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie of Canada stated that China should contribute to maintaining a secure Red Sea for trade, as Chinese vessels are also at risk in that region. Jolie urged Beijing to cease assisting Russia in evading international sanctions. Jolie stated in a Sunday interview that during a bilateral meeting with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi on Saturday, she advised him that Beijing must assist in influencing the Houthis to maintain an open Red Sea. As an exporter, it is in China's best interests, Jolie stated at the Munich Security Conference's conclusion. The Houthis, an Iranian ally of Yemen, have launched a succession of assaults against commercial vessels in the Red Sea, including the oil tanker MT Pollux, which was reportedly struck by a missile on Friday, according to U.S. officials. The Houthi claimed attacks, which they claim are in support of Palestinians in the Gaza Strip have increased shipping and insurance premiums by obstructing a vital trade route that China's vessels traverse frequently between Asia and Europe. Both the United States and the United Kingdom have urged China to intervene via Iran to halt the attacks. Additionally, Jolie reported that she discussed with Yi the necessity of maintaining Western sanctions against Russia as the conflict in Ukraine continued. We need to put maximum pressure on Russia, indicated Jolie. Our sanctions are strong, but China cannot be the loophole in our sanction system. Russia surpassed Saudi Arabia as China's leading petroleum oil supplier last year. In defiance of Western sanctions, China, the largest importer of crude oil globally, acquired immense quantities of discounted oil for its processing facilities. Chinese refiners employ intermediary merchants to comply with Western sanctions and manage the transportation and insurance of Russian crude. After her meeting with Zhou Li on Saturday, Yi emphasized the importance of rebuilding trust with Canada in the wake of years of diplomatic tensions. Late in 2018, when Canadian police detained a Chinese telecommunications executive, relations between China and Canada became frigid. Beijing subsequently apprehended two Canadians suspected of espionage as an element of its hostage diplomacy strategy. Throughout the majority of the previous year, Relations remained tense as the Canadian Parliament investigated China's alleged interference in its elections, a claim China consistently refuted.